Hello, Mary C. Williams friends. This is Miss Britt here. I am going to be using this text, Saturday and Tea Cakes by Lester Laminac. And we're going to take a moment and we're going to look at how Lester uses um, some sensory details and some concrete words and some internal thinking and similes, as well as repeating lines and dialogue. He, when he uses all of these details, it helps the reader understand how special these moments are that he gets to spend with his grandmother on Saturdays. It makes the story much more interesting for you as a reader to read. So I want you to think about this event that happens in this story like a ritual, like something that happens all the time because it did for him. And because he did this every Saturday with his grandmother, that was part of his um, inspiration or part of the reason why he wrote this book. It inspired him, thinking back to his childhood about the things that he did. So the first thing I want to point out, and I pointed it out, I think the first time that I read it, is how he repeats words. And I talked to you about how he says, pedal, 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 and he's you know, expressing to you, this is a little bit of a distance for him to go that he is, you know, he, he does it every weekend, but he doesn't mind making this distance. And then how he went pedal, pedal, pedal up the next hill because he was trying to stress that it was a little bit difficult to get up that hill. We also talked about words like whoosh, right? You can see it and I mean, you can hear it and you can spell it. So that makes it onomatopoeia. And then in his story, he also likes to change the way the words are written. So see how these words are written? Come on then, Mamma said. So that is him, that, that word is called dialogue. It is in your directions for today. It is D-I-A-L-O-G-U-E, dialogue. And this is where he shows the conversation and the words that are happening between him and his grandmother. These are things that he remembers because this moment was so special for him. Let's get in this kitchen and see if we can't make us a mess. So that's that right there is words that he remembers her saying. When you think about memories that you might have as a writer, things that you might want to write about, try to remember exact words that people said to you or exact words from that memory. Um, we also, this is the word ritual because it happens every Saturday. Every Saturday, she spread a cloth over the red countertop and scattered a fistful of flour across it. So this is something that he remembers happening every single Saturday. Down here, I made a little connection symbol because it says she let the mixture drift through her hands so she's like picking the mixture up and it's drifting, like falling between her fingers. Drift through her hands like I sifted sand at the beach. All of you guys have played in the sand a time or two, I'm sure, at the beach. So, and that is an example, I'm sorry, of a simile. So the, the mixture drifts through her hands like sand being sifted at the beach. All right. And then this goes back to show us again that every Saturday he would pedal over the gravel again and out of Mamaw's driveway. He would glance back over his shoulder and he always remembers that she was sitting there just waiting for him to go. She was wait she'd be sitting there waiting for him to arrive and she would be sitting there watching him leave. And it looks like she sends him home with some wonderful goodies from the garden. So those are some things that Lester Laminac did in his story. We've already talked about these when I read the story the first time, so I am going to include the video of where I read this story the first time. I'm gonna show you what you have to do today. All right, so your job today is going to be to fill out this document that says, times we will never forget. Today, you are going to take some time and think about times that you will never forget as a person. Be a memory or something that you are comfortable writing about. And when you are writing it, you are going to use some details. So please use complete sentences when describing your memory or ritual and when writing your details. Your person or place 
can be one or two words. So like right here, this can be one or two words. But these two sections are going to need to be complete sentences. We will be looking for complete sentences with capital letters, punctuation, and your thoughts must make sense. This is super important. If I read it and I can't understand it, you will lose a point. So you need to read over what you've written so that I can fully understand it. All right, so I'm gonna give you an example. My person or my place is my Peepaw Jr. That's what I called my grandpa. Our ritual or the memory that I have that we used to do often, and it can just be a single memory or it can be something that happened many times. This happened many times for us. Um, we used to go fishing every Sunday after church. So that is my memory. I have a capital letter. I have punctuation at the end. And this makes sense to someone who is reading it. We used to go fishing every Sunday after church. Now I need to give some details. Um, we would grab our fishing poles and, sorry, I don't need to comment there, and a can to collect worms in. We would go behind the building and dig for wet, wiggly worms. That's something that we did. You have to give me at least two details. So one sentence, two sentences. I can do more, so I'm going to do more. My grandma, or actually I would call her granny. My granny would yell at me. Andrea? Make sure you take your church clothes off. Sorry. See, I've made two mistakes. So I'm checking over it. I'm fixing it. And then if you will hover over it, it will give you an option for how to spell a word. Really would love for you guys to start using this so that it will help you spell. So those are three details that I provided. You have to give at least two. I could keep going though. This is a memory that is very vivid in my mind. So your job is to tell me your person or your place, what your ritual or your memory is, and then give us some details, at least two, and they need to be in complete sentences. Capital letters, punctuation, and then check on the words on the inside and make sure that they make complete sense. All right, my friends. I can't wait to read what you have written. You have two days to complete this, Monday and Tuesday. You will have another assignment on Wednesday.